buildings be Booba or Kiki? The other day my high schooler was talking about people we know who are Booba and people we know who are Kiki. This fad comes from a nearly 100 year old experiment showing that people associate certain sounds with certain shapes. The most famous example asked people to identify which of these two shapes is Booba and which is Kiki. Did you pick the round blob as Booba and the spiky shape as Kiki? Most people across ages, languages, and cultures all agree with you. So why is that? It turns out that our brains are wired to make connections across our senses, a phenomenon called cross-modal perception. In the case of the Booba Kiki effect, a leading theory is that our brain associates what we hear in the sharp sound of the word Kiki with its jagged shape and the round sound of Booba with its rounded shape. Does the effect extend to architecture? Well, first of all, designers make use of our cross-modal perception abilities all the time, designing sensory-rich spatial qualities, which are perceived by one sense and intentionally cue another sense. Rich textures convey a sense of touch as if we're actually touching the material itself. And because we're able to make meaning with very limited sensory information, designers can use something like color to convey a sense of temperature. So yes, buildings can be booba or kiki. However, there's more going on here than just sensory association. Evidence suggests that shape, or in this case, a building's form, can also elicit emotional meaning. People prefer booba buildings with curves. Curves make us feel good and may even trigger a reward response in the brain. Sharply angled kiki buildings, on the other hand, signal threat and may activate a sense of fear. Architects can make use of the Booba Kiki effect to entice people to approach a building or signal that they should avoid it. Consider architect Daniel Liebeskin's Jewish Museum Berlin. Its sharply angled forms actually work well to convey a sense of danger and help tell a very trauma-laden story about Jewish life in Berlin following the Holocaust. What about our own homes? Are they Booba or Kiki? Well, if your house is anything like mine, it's neither. It's pretty rectilinear. So while I might not judge my house as beautiful as a curved building, it does have other properties beyond building form that make it functional, calming, and even more thought stimulating. It's true. So stay tuned as we explore these and other connections between science and design.